Good afternoon and thank you for joining us today. Uh, as Thomas said, I'm John Hutchison, UK Sales and Technical Manager. I've been working for Restrain for just over eight months now. Uh, prior to that, I worked for Greenvale AP for 10 years as the store manager in the Scottish Borders. For that, I had the responsibility for 22 stores and uh, circa 25,000 tonne of crop. I've also collaborated with AHDB on projects relating to storage upgrades and CIPC compliance. Uh, today, we'll have a look at the background to Restrain, how it works, product comparison, and finally, the aforementioned Q&A with myself and Paul. What is Restrain? Restrain is a natural ethylene gas system for stored potatoes. It's also used for some other applications within the food industry, but today it focuses on potatoes. The ethanol used in our system is derived from the petrochemical industry and from the overproduction of sugar beet. The treatment is continuous for, uh, from the machine switched on to store unloading. The levels within the store are very, very low at 10 ppm on full rate. The equipment has a built-in fully automatic slow start program which introduces ethylene gradually into the store over a three-week period. It's an anti-germination, residue-free, dynamic gas which works well within most stores. The equipment we use is unique to ourselves, built in-house in the Netherlands, building in-house results in better quality control. Who are Restrain? Well, Restrain was established in 2004. It's now based in Breda in the Netherlands in an 18,000 square foot purpose-built facility. All the machines are assembled there by our team of technicians and they're dispatched to our customer base from there. Today we have machines in 38 countries and this is growing all the time. As you will probably appreciate, the demand for the equipment post CIPC is increasing. Fortunately, we're in a strong position with over a thousand additional machines assembled and waiting dispatch. Thomas is now going to show you a short video on how it works. No sound, Thomas. storage temperature, the restrain process begins. The restrain system is supplied with an ethylene generator and sensor. Dynamic ethylene gas is generated continuously in your store by an automated process and reaches all potatoes. Restrain ethylene anti-germination system keeps the potatoes dormant, preventing sprouting, including internal sprouting. This plug-and-play system preserves fry colors safe and reliable. No store modifications required, less management time, cost saving. The store requirements, uh, it works in most stores. Check for large leaks and close off where possible and you'll need some time, type of air recirculation and venting. The three pictures on the screen give an indication of the stores that you're working with. Uh, the picture on the right hand side is a hundred year old store in France with straw installation and stucco on the walls. The store is a bit leaky, but the system works pretty well in there. You can also see the positioning of the machine. It's, it really can be anywhere you want it to be. The picture in the middle is a, a standard box store with a styrofoam installation. And again, you can see the components of the system in the picture. The picture on the left hand side is a purpose built all bells and whistles store fitted with every every conceivable thing you can want in a in a potato store. Uh, so these three pictures show you from a, a what looks like a very poor store to a very, very modern store. The, it works in everything. To summarize on this, check for leaks and close off if possible, position generator away from the doors again if possible and have some capacity for air recirculation, even if it's a single fan and you have to open the main doors. The system's a plug and play system. Uh, we have pre 
the program slow start protocol. The generator can do between 100 and 6,000 tons, depending on store layout. Uh, the generator has the ability to be integrated into your louver control system, and this is the only uh, integration you can have in your system with our system. It's licensed as a sprout uh, inhibitor in the UK. It can be used in conjunction with MH. The ethylene uptake is three days and remains within the tuber for three days once removed from the store. The system again allows for daily flushing. It stops cell elongation, not cell division. There's no internal sprouting, and for the fresh park market, best to be consumed within seven days of leaving store. What we have here is a list of varieties on trial at PPO Westmass in the Netherlands, 21 varieties in five stores. Again, what we have here are the results so far for the Fontaine. 20 tubers were collected from a batch and one sample taken from each tuber and tested in a three minute fry. So from the 16th of December to the 18th of February, the fry test results are very, very similar. Again, the same trial carried out in Marquise this time, slightly different results, but still well within acceptable limits. As you can see through this slide, the VR808 has, uh, has not changed over the trial period at all. Very promising results for this variety. These trials are ongoing with further results to be published in due course. This again is an ongoing trial and these are the results so far. As you can see over the four graphs, there is a peak in sugar levels when the ethylene is introduced, but they do return to the control level within time. When to start? Firstly, you want the crop dry or as dry as you possibly can get it. Crop fully cured again, as fully cured as you can get. Crop at the desired storage temperature right across the whole store. It's no point having uh, at your storage temperature at the back and not the front. You want it as consistent as possible. CO2 at 2,500 ppm or less and a stable environment within the store. This slide shows the ideal way to vent your store. The time you vent will generally depend on amb ambient temperature outside but this is our protocol CO2 above two and a half thousand ppm internal recirculation for at least half an hour depending on fan capacity uh, by by then you should have the air within the store fully mixed now now vent with outside air until CO2 concentration is at an acceptable level the save ethanol is suggest you fit one of your louver control cables. This turns the generator off while venting and back on again when the louver is closed. Ethylene levels will return to the machine set point within 40 minutes of completion of the flushing cycle. When do I start? The crop is dry, stable and at holding temperature. You can now do a seven day pre-start check. It's important to get the correct level of CO2 temperature and ethylene. And for stores that don't have built-in CO2 monitoring systems, you can turn the generator on, less the ethanol, and use the information on the front screen. When do you start? Again, this is what we, you're looking for. CO2 levels rise and fall over a seven-day period, but remain at 2,500 ppm or below. The dips you see are when the store is flushed, the peaks obviously are the CO2 buildup. If you see this happening in your store, it's time to switch the generator on. This is what you don't want to see. CO2 over 2,500 ppm, you vent and the CO2 builds up quickly and the cycle continues over the seven day period. I would suggest you leave for a further week and then try again. Again, for stores that don't have the CO2 monitoring system, utilize the information on the generator screen. It's worth mentioning that if, if sprouting does start, as soon as you introduce the ethylene, any visible sprouts will turn brittle and not cause any problems at all. And remember, there will be no internal sprouting. How do I start? Yeah, you'll need a generator, a sensor, space in your store, some ethanol, 
a 240, 13 amp, three pence supply. The generator can be pretty much sighted anywhere as you've seen previously in the pictures. I suggest you put it somewhere convenient in the store for monitoring purposes. And as, and as it says on the screen, you can be up and running probably in about five minutes. There's also a full instruction manual supplied with the equipment. Thomas will show you a quick 10 step checklist now. Restrained protocol, store management. <laughs> I rant on about this everywhere I go, every visit I do. Personally, for me, this now has become of critical importance. CIPC is gone, it isn't coming back. We need to work with the tools that we have. You, you really need to be in your stores every day. You, you need to make time to visit your stores. Your crops, your livelihood, you need to look after it. Follow the guidelines, they're fairly simple. CO2 below 2,500 ppm, crop at desired holding temperature. Follow the guidelines and hopefully you'll have a successful storage season. We need to change our mindset regarding store management. We don't have the option of the fog now. You used to fog the store, shut the door, come back in a week's time. That's gone. You cannot do that anymore. Get in the store and if you do enough, you'll get a feel for what's going on in there. And if you do this, You'll catch problems early, if any, and you'll be able to deal with them. Again, restrained protocol. The, the equipment is portable, as you can see. Uh, nothing more than a power supply is required. There's no fixed installation, no harvest interval, no residue. The store can be used for other products. Just open the door, load the truck, shut the door. It's as easy as that. There's only a few more slides to go, so we'll not keep you much longer. But again, this is the full restraint protocol. When do I start? The crop needs to be dry. It needs to be cured. Temperature below 10 degrees C. Maintain CO2 levels below 2,500 ppm. Crop, the crop must be stable within the store. Store management, the daily store checks, and please do the daily store checks. Maintain CO2 levels. Again, the temperature below 10% and check uh, your ethanol stocks. Don't let it run out of ethanol. How to start the generator. Generator, sensor, restrain ethanol, clear space, 13 amp supply, that's all you need. You see how quick it can be set up. Five minutes sets the job up. Waiting time. It's very, very flexible. You can unload in batches, as I say. You can open the door, unload what you require, shut the door, and you can process right away. Costs. Restrain the cost for an average storage season, October, May, all in, everything is £3.50 a tonne. That's machine, sensor, application fee, and ethanol. Uh, as you can see on, on, on this slide here, the mint oil, it costs, the costs are considerably higher. You're looking at around four fifty per application, and you'll probably need three applications for an October and May season. DMN, don't really have a great deal of experience with DMN, but I expect prices 
very, very similar to the mint oil, and you'll probably also need three applications over that series uh, season. Again, Restrain has no harvest interval. With mint oil, most users have a voluntary harvest interval only five to six days. And with DMN, it looks like that harvest interval could be up to 28 days. We'll just have to wait and see when it uh, eventually does become available. One other thing worth mentioning is that Restrain is friendly to the fabric of your building, and especially styrofoam. I know some of the others aren't. Uh, also, the equipment within the store it has absolutely no effect on them whatsoever. Again, on costs, you don't have to invest in expensive equipment. Uh, so if your circumstances do change, you don't have thousands of pounds worth of equipment gathering dust. And finally, on this slide, there is no restrictions to entering the building when the system is in operation. Why use restraint? It's an effective sprout control all season. Trial showed good fry colors. Uh, immediate processing, no investment in machinery, user-friendly, safe and reliable. If you want to become a customer, fairly straightforward. We have a brand new landing page on our website. Go there, follow the links for new customer. And also very important, ethanol requires an HMRC duty-free certificate. This is free, but again, if you follow the links on our website, you can fill it in from there, or alternatively, you can go to the HMRC website, follow the, the links there, and I think it's uh, reference EX240 for the uh, information that you will need. Uh, finally, I can be contacted at any time, so let's hope uh, that's something to think about what I've been chatting to you. Uh, and if you have any questions, Paul and myself will try and answer them. Thank you very much for your time.